this is the fourth step Creo Simulate. So you click open, you select your file, you click open, you have your beam, and then you have to select a plane to build the frame because if you don't do this, you can't realize an analysis. You extrude on this plane, you extrude a rectangle on this plane. I put some dim dimensions, but it's not very important. That's only to have something centered. Then you extrude, so you can do a little extrusion. It's it doesn't matter. I write ten millimeters. After you go OK. Then you have your beam with the frame. Application simulate. You have to go on displacement and to lock the frame. You select the plane and you go OK. So now the frame is locked. You have to put some forces, so you go on force moment and you put a force with respect to with respect to z axis. Uh, in reference, you select age and curve, then you select the age at the end of the beam. Then you go in materials. You can see there are a lot of materials. You can select the one you need. I'll select steel. Then you click on the triple arrow. Then OK. And if you want to change the properties of the materials, you go on materials, right click, edit definitions. I choose to to change the uh, young modulus with 210 GPA and you click OK now you have to assign your material to the beam so you go on assign material and you click on the beam and you click OK now you go on analyzes and studies you, you click on file new static then you click OK, you click on the green flag and you select yes and yes. So the analysis is starting. Then you have a window opens, nothing is red so everything is OK, you go close, you go... Then you go on results, this window opened, I choose MPA and... Uh, stress okay so now you have your beam with the stress and you can see on the right hand corner you have the, um, the max stress which is about 41 MPA now you go on edit Result window, and you can choose a model and uh, the displacement, for example, in millimeter, and you can show it. It is, it's not very useful to show this like this. So we can deform the the beam. So you say deformed, and I choose. 100% uh, so now you see the beam is deformed and the scale is about 34 so you can change it you go on edit result window and you write 10% for example so now the scale is about three and a half so now you can see the shape of the beam The 
this is about what it will look like in true life you can show you can also show the strain with a, a deformed beam this is very useful too so we can do a lot of things with Creo and then so yes you close you go on analysis so you close the simulate you go on analysis simulate analysis you click compute yes and with this we can show the stress the strain and all the parameters calculated in Creo and send them to MATCAD and to show them in MATCAD so we can compare with our calculated values and check we we are right. So you can you click on add pleasure, you give it a name and you click OK. So now you know how to simulate your model to show the strain, the stress, displacement and and all things that goes with it. In the fifth video we we will check the value are right. So see you then for the next video.